In the heart of India, a village whispers tales of an ancient civilization, tales that are carved in stone. Welcome to Kajuraho, home to the world's most unique temples. In this unassuming village, a monumental saga unfolds, one that began over a thousand years ago in the 9th and 10th centuries. This was the era of the Shandalas, a dynasty of visionaries and artists who chose Kajuraho as their canvas. They erected 85 temples here, each a masterpiece of engineering and an epitome of sculptural ornamentation. The temples of Kajuraho are not just mere structures of brick and stone, they are a testament to the Shandela's genius, their understanding of the world, and their profound interpretation of the divine. Each temple with its intricate carvings and majestic spires symbolizes the pinnacle of India's Nagara style of architecture, a style characterized by its beehive-like towers and complex symbolism. But what sets Kajuraho apart is not just its architectural brilliance, it's the stories that these temples tell, stories that are etched in stone for eternity. They narrate tales of love and devotion, of valor and victory, and yes, of passion and desire too. A mere 10% of the sculptures depict erotic themes, a fact that often overshadows the other 90%, which illustrate the everyday life of the era, the royal court, the spiritual teachings, and the mighty epics of India. The largest and most spectacular of these temples are found in the Western group, including the awe-inspiring Kandariya Mahadeva Temple, the Regal Lakshmana Temple, and the Divine Devi Jagadambi Temple. Each of these temples is a world in itself, a world that invites us to explore, to understand and to marvel at the grandeur of India's ancient civilization. Kajuraho, a silent testament to India's ancient civilization, stands as a beacon of exceptional engineering and sculptural ornamentation. This is not merely a place to visit, it's a place to experience, to immerse oneself in and to be awed by. The enigmatic temples of Kajuraho beckon you, will you answer their call? Enveloped in the mists of time, Kajuraho was lost to the world, only to be rediscovered in the 19th century. A tale of revival as intriguing as the temples themselves. In the heart of India, these architectural marvels lay forgotten, their stories untold, their beauty unseen, until one man, Alexander Cunningham, stumbled upon them in his archaeological pursuits. Cunningham, a Scotsman with an unwavering love for history and a keen eye for art, brought Kajuraho back from the brink of oblivion. In the late 1800s, as he navigated through the dense forests of central India, he came across these temples that stood still, silent, bearing witness to the passage of time. The intricate carvings, the precise architecture, the silent narratives etched in stone, everything about them was a testament to the grandeur of a bygone era. Cunningham knew he had stumbled upon something extraordinary. With the support of the British government he embarked on a mission to revive Kajuraho, to reintroduce it to the world a mission that would take several years, and an unwavering commitment to preserving the essence of these temples. And preserve, he did. Today the temples of Kajuraho stand tall, not just as remnants of the past but as living, breathing epitomes of India's rich cultural heritage. They are a testament to the remarkable preservation efforts, the painstaking attention to detail, and the relentless commitment to keep the spirit of the Shandelas alive. The temples of Kajuraho are more than just stone structures. They are symbols of resilience, of the power of art to transcend time, and of the human spirit's ability to revive, restore and revere the glory of the past. And so as we delve deeper into the world of Kajuraho, we do not just explore its temples. We journey through time, we traverse history, and we uncover the layers of a civilization that was, that is, and that will continue to be. From oblivion to global recognition, the journey of Kajuraho is as fascinating as its intricate sculptures. Every stone in Kajuraho has a story to tell, some of love, some of life, and some of divinity. In this timeless village, you'll find the silent whisper of history etched into every corner. The temples of Kajuraho stand as a testament to the artistic genius and the exceptional engineering of the Shandalas, a dynasty that ruled this land in the 9th and 10th centuries. Now let's delve into the heart of these structures, the sculptures. An often misunderstood aspect of Kajuraho's allure is the erotic nature of some sculptures. However, it's essential to set the record straight. Only 10% of these intricate works of art depict sensuality. The remaining 90% narrate tales of everyday life, divine deities and celestial musicians, each carving a silent symphony in stone. 
As you wander through the labyrinth of sculptures, you'll find yourself in the western group of temples, home to some of Kajuraho's most stunning architectural marvels. Among these, the Lakshmana Temple takes center stage, with its breathtakingly intricate carvings of divine beings and celestial dancers. The Kandariya Mahadeva Temple, another gem, rises majestically with its shikara or spire, reaching towards the heavens, a symbolic bridge between the mortal and the divine. The Devi Jagadambi Temple, though smaller in comparison, holds its own with its exquisite beauty and grace. Each of these temples with their unique sculptures is like a time capsule, preserving the ethos, the beliefs and the artistic expression of a bygone era. These are not just stones stacked together, but the embodiment of a civilization's collective creativity and spiritual quest. So, as you gaze upon these sculptures, look beyond the surface, listen to the stories they are whispering, feel the rhythm of the celestial dances, the divine symphony playing out in stone, and the passion etched into every detail. In Kajuraho's sculptures, one can see the rhythm of life, the dance of divinity, and the passion of love. Kajuraho is not just about temples, it's about a journey that immerses you in the richness of India's cultural heritage. Embarking on a voyage to Kajuraho is akin to stepping into a time machine, where each moment unravels a tale from the 9th and 10th centuries. This journey not only takes you back in time but also introduces you to the vibrant colors of India's cultural tapestry. Just as the seasons change, so does the aura of Kajuraho. But the best time to visit this mesmerizing village is between October and February. During these months the weather is at its most pleasant, offering an idyllic backdrop to the majestic temples that stand tall against the azure skies. The soft winter sun paints the ancient stones in hues of gold, making the intricate carvings come alive as if narrating tales from the past. Now to truly experience Kajuraho you need to travel like the locals do, Auto rickshaws or as they are fondly called, tuk-tuks, provide a convenient and unique way to explore the area. These three-wheeled vehicles with their rhythmic chugging become your companion as you navigate through the narrow lanes, soaking in the everyday life of Kajuraho. The auto rickshaw drivers with their wealth of local knowledge often serve as impromptu guides, adding a dash of color to your journey. As you traverse the western group of temples, the most well-preserved and beautiful area in Kajuraho, each turn reveals a new marvel. From the grandeur of the Lakshmana Temple to the artistic brilliance of the Kandariya Mahadeva Temple and the Devi Jagadambi Temple, you are left spellbound, awestruck by the skill and imagination of the artists who breathed life into stone. A journey to Kajuraho is a journey back in time, a journey that leaves you in awe of India's glorious past. As our exploration of Kajuraho comes to an end remember, this is just one chapter in the endless saga of India's rich history. The intricate temples of Kajuraho are testaments to the sheer brilliance of the Chandalas, who gifted us with these architectural marvels in the 9th and 10th centuries. They've stood the test of time, weathered by centuries, yet their breathtaking beauty and detailed sculptures remain intact, narrating tales of an era long past. Here in Kajuraho, 85 temples were initially built, showcasing exceptional engineering and a unique blend of erotic and non-erotic sculptural ornamentation. Today, the western group of temples stands as the most well-preserved and beautiful area, with the notable Lakshmana Temple, Kandariya Mahadeva Temple, and Devi Jagadambi Temple taking center stage. The temples are a sublime representation of India's Nagara style of architecture, a style that's distinct and deeply rooted in the region's cultural heritage. They're not just stone and mortar, they're a living breathing testament to India's rich, complex and vibrant history. And let's not forget, Kajuraho was nearly lost to the sands of time, only to be revived in the 19th century by the dedicated archaeologist Alexander Cunningham. His efforts breathed new life into the village, allowing future generations to marvel at the grandeur and intricacies of these ancient structures. So, as we draw the curtain on Kajuraho, we're not closing a book but merely turning a page. There are countless more tales to be told, more chapters to be explored in the vast chronicle of our world's history. If you've enjoyed this journey through time and want to explore more hidden gems, subscribe to our channel. Let the story of our world's rich history continue to unfold.